Hello everyone. Well today is an awesome day, not just because it's Saturday, but because I received two packages. And uh, what happened was I was sitting here watching YouTube videos in my living room and I heard a knock on the door. It was a pretty heavy knock, not just, you know, like a little tap tap. And uh, I opened the door and this was here. And uh, I believe it's from Southampton Lock Picking Club. And he had me sign for the package and everything. And he said, oh, by the way, you've got a bigger package in the locker downstairs. Said, okay, thank you. So normally the postman doesn't deliver stuff unless they need like a signature and stuff like that. And uh, if you're not here, they'll leave it in the office. But the office is closed since it's Saturday. So anyways, he delivered that one. I went downstairs, and they uh, g there's a little key in the locker uh, in my mailbox, you know, for a bigger container that will store something as big as one of these. And uh, it had no number on it, you know. Well, there's only uh, eight. It's a cluster. There's only eight of those um, ones in there. And on one side, three of the keys have been used, and the other one, the lock, was basically destroyed. It's partially out and everything. So I got to be looking for that. They're going to throw that lock away. And last time they just left it on top of the thing. And uh, that's how I got my first post office lock. But anyways. I went down there. And uh, since it wasn't numbered. I checked the other side. And all four of those were possibilities. There were no keys still. Because they're key retaining. Once you use them it keeps the key in there. All four of those were still uh, in there. So I went through and tried them and it's i can see how those things get messed up man because the the keyway is not labeled very well they've drawn an arrow uh to show you which way to turn to unlock it on the uh on the mailbox and it took me a while to figure out which one it would fit and everything and finally i got this one and this is the biggest and heaviest package that i've Received now. I've got a rat one here because it's a big package, and a rat two here to open them for the uh, Southampton Lock Picking Club. But this one is uh, twenty two point one three or thirteen point eight ounces. Twenty two pounds, thirteen point eight ounces. So that's a heavy package. Um, so it's going to have its own separate opening, and we're just going to do. This um, Southampton Lock Picking Club one. It, it says on the side that it's three secondhand padlocks. Well, man, it could be secondhand, 20th hand. I love padlocks. I don't care how many hands have been on them. If they're a padlock, I know I'm going to love this. So I'm going to use my Rat 2 to get into here. Whoa! Hit the you always slice away from yourself. I hit the camera instead of stabbing into my stomach or something like that. Get over here. Slice this open. Man, having a really nice sharp knife, it just glides through stuff. I saw my supervisor trying to open his open a thing with his pocket knife and it's the dullest thing in the world. You'd be better off with a butter knife. Alright, let's just peel this down here. The unveiling. Ah, nice. Put that aside over there. Right side up. That way I was cutting towards myself, but I'm not using a lot of force. Very nice packaging. Look at that inner and outer packaging. And then this will help with like waterproofing. All right, we got, that's one. One of them rolled out. I just wanna make sure nothing's hiding in the packaging. Oh, nice. A shutter lock. Another shutter lock. 
and some keys. Let me uh, back this camera up. Try to get it somewhat in focus. Put my rat away, R2-D2. All right, let's put this one over here. These keys out. Ooh, a very nice CISA. I've been looking at those uh, CISAs. You can get them from Brazil, which is a little bit closer to us than uh, Italy. And uh, they're expensive, even getting them from Brazil, just the shipping. You know, I mean, like the lock itself might be 20 or thirty dollars and then the shipping will be twenty or thirty dollars very nice uh, let's see if we've got look at this it says CISA and then on the back it looks like it says WM <laughs> it's like it was made for me it's like my personal keys it's very nice of them very nice of CC to do that. Man, that is a really, there's a little, like, beyond this, there's a little slider thing that kind of gets in your way. I have a hard time fitting the key in it. Hmm. I got the key in, but it doesn't want to turn. Maybe that was the control key. I don't know. Neither one of those. But that's all right. I'll try to pick them open. But look at that. It's a bidding that doesn't work. But yeah, there are the pins. So it's upside down. I'm trying right and left. But huge and, and massive. And this is another CISA. Made in Italy. Look at that wicked shark tooth type bidding, man. It's like. Going through a buzzsaw. Oh, I might have used the wrong key. For the wrong log. That's exactly what I did. I looked at one CISA and I went, oh. He's using the wrong key for the wrong log. Cool, their little spring launching type. And I believe you can disassemble them by pushing a detent down there. Pushing them back and doing a detent, but... I believe that's how you get the core out. I'm not sure on that. All right, so since they're all ceases, this has got a Maxis tire on it. See, I think it goes this way, right? Yeah. Cool. So this is the bidding on that one a very nice look at that there's that low really low cut one that's trying to get you to overset when you hit every when you're trying to get every one of those and you may only be able to pick off of that warding right there i mean you may only have a just a little the second warding that may be the only space that you can get a pick through it's fairly wide and you might no Look at those teeth coming back. You may have to pick off that side ledge. I don't know. That's going to be tricky. It's going to take one of those thin picks. I've been looking at the um, the Sparrows, that 12,000 set. I was hoping that they would go with, with just uh, individual picks rather than... Uh, I don't need all the you know, rakes and hooks. And, I mean, I need hooks, but I don't need rakes and all that. Whoa. Very cool. A 28070. Thank you. Man, all of these are awesome. That's why I knew I was going to have to do two separate videos. Uh, because these, I knew these padlocks were going to be coming. Oh, I didn't know they were padlocks. He said it was just going to send me some locks. And uh, I didn't know they were going to be these guys. And man, I knew it was... I knew I was going to be uh, amazed by whatever they sent and really have to spend time with them. Oh, these are great, man. This is awesome. Now they've really got their big brother to protect them because that other one I think is a 
it, yeah, it's a 70 millimeter, but it's the old uh, solid brass one. So now if anybody talks crap about CISA from the other locks around there, they can call on this guy. It's key retaining also. They can call on this guy to be the heavy, the muscle for him. So thank you, man. That's that's awesome. Um, I'm going to try to get your padlock out pretty soon. And uh, thank you, man. I mean, I, I just, these are really awesome. They're definitely not duplicates. There's no way I would even have, I'll be able to afford one of these, you know. So that is very cool. Made in Italy. I like all of them, man. The, and they and they've seen some use too. See, if you get a brand new padlock, yeah, that's cool. If if that's you know going to be a collection, but picking it, sometimes picking a, a used padlock is much harder than picking a brand new one. So you add an already difficult to pick lock with a difficult to pick in condition. The only way you could make it worse is actual setting, you know, put it out on a barn with a a goat attacking you, you know, while you're trying to pick the lock up and get away or or a horse or something like that. You're at a you're at a barn or a fence and you're trying to pick the lock and the horse thinks you're trying to feed it carrots and trying to bite your fingers and stuff, you know. Stuff like that. That's about the only way you can make it more difficult than an already used lock. But um thank you for watching. I'm going to open this other packet. I just wanted to say that um, when you send something that massive, it's no criticism. Like I said, you don't want to. One of the old sayings is uh, never uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. You know, if somebody's giving you for free, don't say anything. But I just wanted to put this as a heads up for anybody, uh, you know, that's shipping heavy stuff that we almost lost at least some of this one because uh, you need to reinforce these boxes um, usually with reinforced tape if you can uh, because the edges are really susceptible they'll take this stuff and toss it you know and throw it around i mean uh, machines will grab it too you know you don't even have humans will put on a conveyor belt i'll go through and bam you know and so something like this you know, it's really great it wound up in the Post office, deadlock office. I mean, I'm sure they've got a lot of locks. They've got at least three that I know of recently where people have gotten just the package. <laughs> I didn't even get the packaging for the original lock. I just got the envelope that it came in. But, uh, yeah, just be careful whenever packing heavy stuff. Um, like I said, I, I'm no criticism made it here, no foul. Um, but just a heads up for anybody uh, packing stuff that you know he did at least include individual things but you know you can just reach in and and get this guy and say hmm, i want one of those i think i'll take one of those or it'll just fall out and land out wherever it is but anyway thank you so much for watching um stay tuned for the next one i gotta get some water and stuff i'm thirsty after talking and yammering so much but I hope everyone has an enjoyable weekend. You already know I'm going to have an enjoyable weekend and week and probably month trying to get into all of these things. <laughs>